My name's Steven, Steven Mancini, Steven Tyler the designer on Instagram. And I live in Salem, Massachusetts, and I've been working uh, out of my home studio apartment for the, about the past 10 years now. I make jewelry full time, and I love Shaper 3D because it's been so helpful in allowing me to integrate all of my different processes into an application that can help me format all these different things and allow me to progress in a significant way. I started making jewelry after seeing a couple of different wire wrap jewelry from a friend of mine. He brought home a piece of wire wrap jewelry that he bought at a concert and I was obsessed with it and I couldn't find any of it online. So I started making it on my own and I did that for about five years and now I do a lot more crazy stuff. I engrave, jewelry, I do complicated stone setting, pave, cut stones and gemstones, carve them in intricate ways. And all of this is made possible even more so by using Shaper because I can 3D model my jewelry now. And with that, I can test fit these complicated stones into really interesting patterns and make sure that everything fits before it's sent to cast and then after I model and cast these things I can then engrave and do all of these fancy stone setting techniques. I really love the intricacy of these cut gemstones and using those patterns and modeling them in shaper to then be able to make a one-of-a-kind piece of jewelry that you, one you've never seen before and also plays on itself with the gem inside of it. You have mandalas inside the gemstones and then you bring them out into the metal and it all flows into one piece. So I work out of a small space in my one bedroom apartment. I have a microscope set up, an air compressor, a bunch of complicated stone carving machines, a fantasy machine, an Ultratech V5, and a 3D printer that I print a lot of my shaper designs on. There's so much beautiful art to look at. One from artists who create the art and also from Earth because there's gemstones that are created uh, right from mines in all over the world. You know, Tanzania is this blue tanzanite that I was showing. There's beautiful colors in these gemstones. And with that, you know, it really inspires the art. And I think one of the, one of the best things I, I find of this industry is the ability to never stop learning because we're always you know finding ways to progress and to learn new techniques and this is something that uh, you know there's no there's no stagnant uh, mindset in a lot of these uh, artists that I that I've come to come across and have learned from I always feel like I'm learning and creating something new and shaper has helped me evolve in that way by creating something new almost every day on that program and being able to expand my horizons just by using an iPad and Shaper. One other thing that I really enjoy about this industry is the ability to share information and to always learn from your predecessors because we're standing on top of each other's shoulders to be able to create better and better art. Uh, from the people that we've seen before and it's only because people are willing to share information. I find inspiration to be a really interesting question sometimes. I look into nature, I find inspiration in the art of nature and flowers and petals and all these different forms of art that we see around us. But I think the thing that inspiration does is it puts us in a place to where we will only work when we're inspired. And I think that's a thing that a lot of artists depend on sometimes is they wait to be inspired to work. And I find it to be the opposite for me because I work very hard at what I do. And I, I come in every day being inspired by the process of the work. Sit down, start, and as soon as I start, I find the love again. My workflow starts with a drawing. And then with that drawing, I then try to imagine what gemstones I'm gonna place in it and what colors and combinations are gonna go into this drawing that I'm gonna then bring to life. So after I make a drawing, I then cut my gemstone. I do this with specialized lapidary tools. After I have this gemstone cut, I then measure it and bring it to Shaper. Once I'm in Shaper 3D, I use the program to model my drawing. The model is usually much cooler than the drawing because you can see all the dimension with in the design. And I think that is what brings a lot of these pieces to life. 
After I have my design modeled, I then print it to test fit the stones, make sure everything fits before I send it to metal. And then with that, I get silver and gold and I cast the metals. Once the piece is finalized and cast, I can then set these gemstones within them. I use pneumatic tools, a rotary tool, a microscope, and I set gems within the metal using micro techniques, which is really interesting. And it's kind of like your own little world when you're under the microscope. So I actually first stumbled upon Shaper on my own. I was trying to find a 3D modeling app that I could use for my iPad. And just looking through the Apple Play Store, I was able to find Shaper 3D app and started using it. And lo and behold, the next two years, it's progressed my jewelry in such a significant way. It's so intuitive, and I always share with other people how intuitive it is compared to other jeweler CAD program or CAD programs in general. It's allowed me to really redesign my workflow. I used to fabric, I, I still do, but I have fabricated jewelry, I wax carved jewelry, and Shaper and 3D modeling them, uh, it's cleaner, it's faster. All things come with time and practice, but I really enjoy Shaper being able to push my workflows to a new level. I'm using Shaper as a base for a lot of my designs with the gemstone carvings. The gemstone carvings I've only been doing for a year and Shaper two years. So I really am excited to see where I'm at in the next 10 years using the new tools that I've developed to be able to bring all this crazy jewelry to life because I hope to be within the next five, 10 years, opening a place for other people to learn and for me to teach in a more open studio space than a one bedroom apartment so that I can really grow into the artist that I wanna be and also help others do the same.